Penn State Spring Ball continues in Happy Valley. A lot of reason for excitement for the future and direction of the program, but also some pressing questions to be answered. Inside Haluva Hall, the cool air back in Happy Valley. Special teams on full display with the punt unit. Stacy Collins shows, shows that the intensity will be there as the Jets all over the field after every kickoff. Running backs including National Player of the Year freshman Nick Singleton on bag drills being told that Penn State last in the country in yards after contact. Many reasons that include the offensive line. With just two starters back, it's been a challenge with limited numbers in camp, but they feel the process is working. So we're, we're, we're light there, but uh, you know, I think Olu has been really good. Uh, he's been really impressive. Uh, Juice has been really impressive. It looks comfortable. I think his best position is that center. Uh, and then Caden is you know, staying at right tackle. But there's flexibility with Caden at left tackle as well. Um, those guys are probably the guys that we feel the best about right now. It's really just mindset. We just got to come out with a relentless physical mentality and just drive to the whistle. And that's something you really can't teach. It's just got to be in you. The fan base is clamoring for a physical O-line and running game. The biggest excitement is over the work done by stud QB recruits Drew Aller and Central York's Bo Perula. Second-year offensive coordinator Mike Yursich likes the skills both brought to camp, and Bo's arm has impressed teammates. They're, they're doing an excellent job. They're very far along because of how they were groomed in high school. So that they show a lot of arm talent. They have good feet. They have good pocket awareness, both of them. Definitely his arm talent, but he got, got a cannon on him. But to be honest with you, he just, uh, his knowledge, he, he's, he's a very fast learner and he picks up quick. And that's, that's impressive, for especially his position. He's, uh, he needs that. Clifford may be the guy now. The future lies within number 15 and number 9 to see who handles the keys to the Lions offense in the future. It seems both are off to a good start.